Okay, earlier in the show, I said that I was going to um, expound on some of the shows that are on the station now since the relaunch. And so I'm going to be harassing probably throughout the day uh, some of these radio announcers, radio hosts, or on-air personality, whichever they prefer themselves to be called. Um, just to check them out to see how their show is going and how they feel about being on the station. I really want everybody to have a voice. So I think I'm going to call Darren Harris. He's the one of Defining Moments. He comes on Monday through Friday on the station at 11 a.m. sharp. And he gives an incredible word of encouragement and just mind-provoking um, topics. So let me see if I can get him on the air right now. Hello, this is Darren Harris. You know you do not answer the phone like that. No, I'm yes, I do. I do. I do. I never knew who was calling. <laughs> you are the professional at all times, boy. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? All is well. All is well. Well, I have shared with the listening audience that I am going to be harassing, um, you know I say the crew, my crew. <laughs> That's all right. On That's today. <laughs> so I really want the people to get to know you um, more intimately by sharing, for one, why you decided to start defining moments. Of course, somebody will be calling right now when I'm talking to you, right? But it's all good. Yeah. We're, we're going to wipe them off. We're going to swipe left. Yeah, and stop. Gonna <laughs> well, it's real. It's real. Going to keep talking. I had to swipe them off, though. So, yes, why you chose the the actual show title defining moments and exactly what defining moments is all about for the listeners to know yeah well thank you for asking that question because my life has been defined by a series of defining moments mm -hmm. and uh when i speak of defining moments these are these moments of clarity you know and it's usually uh hindsight you know, and they say hindsight is twenty twenty. So usually, sometimes you don't get it until after. Uh, but then there are times while we're in the, the thick of it, in the midst of it, we have that burning uh, bush experience as, as Moses did. And mm -hmm. said, okay, I get it. And, you know, because we serve a great God, you know, he, he won't allow us to be in the fog or the thick of things too long. And, you know, when those moments of clarity come, that's the moment of decision. And, you know, I do a lot of talks on leadership. And one of the things that I've learned in leadership is that number one, leadership is about influence, nothing more, nothing less. Mm -hmm. And everything rises and falls because of, you know, leadership. And so it's really important that leaders are able to navigate these defining moments yes. uh, because there are people behind them. Yes. And in some cases, there are people in front of them, right? Because sometimes we have to lead uh, from behind and then there are other times we lead from the front. But at the end of the day, they're looking towards you and they're looking towards your leadership. So for me, it's just really important to recognize when those moments come, when that fork in the road comes. Uh, and so that was really important to me, of course, to, you know, to label that. And in fact, there is a song uh, when I was uh, CEO of a nonprofit. We recorded called Defining Moments, which, mm -hmm. you know, it's on YouTube and everything. And it speaks to that very thing where I give, you know, what my definition of a defining moment. And believe it or not, I'll share this little piece. It comes from a sermon that I preached maybe about 10 years ago wow. uh, where we talked about, um, you know, how Moses uh, had given instructions mm -hmm. uh, to a few people to go and check out the land. You probably remember this story. And they went and, you know, and they looked around and, and Caleb was the only one who got it, right? And, you know, because Moses told him, look, when you go, you're going to see this. And they came back and they said, yeah, Moses, yeah, we saw all of that and everything you said is right, but we look like grasshoppers 
compared to how are we going to do this? And then Caleb silenced the people. That was a defining moment because Caleb saw it. He saw what they saw, but he, they didn't believe, you know, that they could do it. And right. so that's where Caleb, we see Caleb rise up as a leader. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, that that's pretty much where it all comes. That was a defining moment in his life. Well, like, let me, yeah, let me ask you this. Um, you said that leadership is simply influence. Um, You know, on social media and all of that good stuff, they have everybody's an influencer. I'm like, what y'all influencing? (laughs) But anyway, um, yeah, if you can expound on that, that would be great. So I'm usually looking at towards, you know, spiritual leadership and and guidance and, you know, and good leadership and great leadership. Mm -hmm. Uh, But when people describe themselves as an influencer on social media, and we all are in a way. Right. Uh, and even if the only person we're leading ourselves, we still have to influence ourselves. And so usually when I say leaders who lead with love, you know, never lose. And we know I know love to be God. And so that's, you know, a, a way of saying that God is love. And as long as we lead with God, you know, then we'll be all right. But, yeah, individuals who describe themselves as influencers, I mean, people, you know, describe themselves as, you know, entrepreneurs and they I don't know if I can say this, Entrepo Negro. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> you know, that's my personality. You know who I am. That's who I am. You know, there's a difference between an entrepreneur and an Entrepo Negro. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it's about having, you know, structure. But, you know, when I speak of influence and I'm speaking of leadership, you know, and, you know, it's different. Like, uh, when I think about leadership, people follow you because they want to. In management, right. people follow you because they have to. And I'm a better leader. I know I am than a manager. But in order to be really effective, you have to have both good leadership and management skills. Right, right, right. Well, I thank you for giving me an overall view uh, of Darren L. Harris. Let me stop. <laughs> that, that, that's, a, that's a real small portion. Now, don't, I know. Don't, don't be answering the phone like that no more when I call you. <laughs> But I, I need for the listeners, oh, Lord, there he go with Peach Cobbler. I need for the listeners to really tune in Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. sharp for Defining Moments with Darren L. Harris right here on I Am Radio. Thank you, Darren. Love you. Well, thank you. Thank you, Peaches, for the opportunity. Love you, too, and have a great day. Thank All right. you so much. Bye-bye. All right. Okay, I'm going to be harassing people all day. That's all I know, okay? <laughs> Keep it locked to I Am Radio. Sunday Takeover, Tree Whitley. <laughs>